Dollar Tree Christmas craft ideas that I have on the table today that you're going to want to run out to the Dollar Tree right now and start gathering the supplies needed for these projects. If you're excited, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So what this is, we were actually able to take a pizza pan and turn it into an amazing Cricut Christmas countdown. Um, I love this. This is one of my favorite things ever to do. Um, we were able to put a magnet on here, so you're able to take the magnet and just move it around, you know, for each day. Usually in the mornings we like to do that, so it's super, super fun. Um, and we have all the cut files available for you guys if you're a member to be able to make this project. So this one's really fun. And again, you know, from the Dollar Store, I believe some of our ribbons also from the Dollar Tree, um, which is really incredible. So we love this project. And I can't wait to see you guys make some of these affordable Cricut Christmas countdowns like we have right here. Now guys, project number two here, you actually won't believe me at how many pieces of this is from the Dollar Store. So number one, our frame is from the Dollar Store. Number two, our ribbon, and number three, our clothespins to create this awesome Christmas card holder. You guys, this is a great project that is only going to cost you under $5 to recreate. Use some of the Maker's to Learn Cut files, and you're going to be able to hang up all of your Christmas cards all throughout the holiday season because this is one of my favorites. Uh, it makes me so happy to be able to see all the Christmas cards um, that people send throughout the holiday season, um, all the family pictures and things like that. So this is a great one to display. You could hang this on your fridge, you could hang it in your kitchen, anywhere you want to have these on display throughout the holiday season. All right, my friends, for project number three, what we're able to do is take Jenga blocks and actually glue them together and then paint them for this awesome look to create an ornament. We even got some of our baker's twine at the Dollar Tree and we were able to add one of our favorite fonts from Maker's Gonna Learn to add Jingle to it and make a really fun DIY ornament from the Dollar Tree. We were able to thread these with on our baker's twine and just attach it right here with some hot glue for an adorable little ornament. I think you guys will love making this and you could even do like each one of your kids names, each one of your grandkids names and things like that if you wanted. You could even maybe do a little printout of their picture. I mean there's so many different things you could do once you know that you could make these from the dollar store and be able to do this really affordably, right? But with the little Jenga blocks. So that's super fun. And I think you guys are gonna really enjoy this one. All right, so we have four right here. Um, and these are really meant for stocking stuffers. All of these are from the Dollar Tree and we just added vinyl to it. So we added a monogram right here to a pop socket. This right here is your little pop socket. Next, we have like a tech case where they could put their earphones in. We added one of our monogram fonts here. It's our scallop monogram. And then we were able to add their name onto this brush, super handy. Um, and then we are even added the name onto the comb. So this is a nice little set that could be either a gift or you could just put it in their stocking, which is super, super fun. And again, all of these items was found at the Dollar Tree. All right, my friends, this one's one of the most exciting ones that we have today. And the reason why is we actually were able to get our cubes in a pack of two, I believe. Um, and what we did was we have been able to paint them with chalk paint. Now, I've heard rumors that the Dollar Tree is now selling wood in one of these that look very similar um, and they're already wooden. Ours are not wooden, so you can see some cracking because it's foam that we painted. I like the look of it. I think it makes it look a little bit better. And we found these in the toy section. But definitely check the craft section first to kind of see if you can find these um, already wooden because then you'll have even better looks. I even could recommend grabbing some of this um, jute twine at your craft store um, or at your Dollar Tree. So I found this at both places but you will probably have to get some of these wooden beads at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, and things like that. But your little um, cubes will be able to be found at 
the Dollar Tree, which is really fun. And then after you paint these with the chalk paint, you're just go add the vinyl. So then you'll have a great little mantle piece, great little piece of home decor to put in your home this holiday season. And this is one of my favorite ones to make. So I think you guys will really enjoy making this as well. All right, so this one you may want to look out for. Um, this is something that we made from a back to school little organizer for the kids um, school, but we turned it into an amazing little shadow box ornament. Now, if you can't find these, maybe the back to school section's already passed at your Dollar Tree. Here's what I would use. I would use a spice container to recreate this exact project. You're gonna be able to make this with a spice container. Um, all we did was inside add a piece of cardstock in the back for the glitter shimmer. We added some cotton um, and we glued in a little tree. And then on the front, we added this cut file that says fa la la. Um, so that's really fun. We actually also added a hole to be able to add the ribbon. So that's it. But this is such a high quality looking Dollar Tree ornament that I think you all will be very impressed with if you give this one a shot as well. Last but not least, you guys cannot ever skimp out on picking up some of these mugs from the Dollar Tree. We were able to add two different colors of vinyl on here for a really, really fun DIY Dollar Tree Cricut Craft for the holidays. This one's so much fun and I really, really enjoy getting to do all sorts of different mugs, especially around Christmas because they don't have to last a long time, but you still get quite a few uses out of them um, without breaking the bank. So I want to encourage you guys to do this one when you're looking for decor or maybe some actual practical projects to use this holiday season.